Hey there, Crimsonites. This is Crimson Giant 21. Um, today I have a very special video for you. Um, today we are going to be opening a nice, cool mystery box um, that I went and got from my friend at AK Crazy Collector. Um, I'm actually opening this in dedication to my um, to my wonderful nephews um, who are very happy to call me Crimson. And also, we are going to be reviewing some manga I bought. These are two Pokemon comics from Japan that I got at AK Crazy Collector as well. This one looks like it has red on it. This one has Ash, Brock, and Misty on it. And these are just so cool. I've already looked through these things. And they are just so cool. Um... All the words are in um, either Mandarin or Japanese or maybe even Chinese. I don't know. I can't read it, but um, from anyone who's watched the Pokemon cartoon show, um, you should uh, know how it goes. Um, it looks like it goes from the very beginning... Yeah, it looks like it goes from the very beginning, um, from where after Ash caught his first Pokemon, um, which was Caterpie, and goes all the way from there, all the way to, all the way to the School of Hard Knocks, um, which is where Ash met this really cocky trainer named AJ, um, um, who was trying to um, get 100 wins with uh, his Sand Shrew before he started taking on gym badges. Um, and he ended up succeeding and doing so. Um, so that was from the first one. Now we got this, um, this, uh, this uh, manga right here. It's, uh, um, it has, uh, like I said, it's in, it's in, uh, this one's in Japanese as well, um, which, um, has, like, red in it, and there he is, he caught himself a Poliwhirl, and there's a Nidorino up there and everything, and he ends up becoming a really powerful trainer, <laughs> um, which I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but, uh, that, um, that's from, uh, those, I've already, re I've already glanced through them, uh, more than once, and I thought they were pretty amazing, so, um, but now we're gonna get into this. This is a mystery box. Like I said, this is from my buddy at AK Crazy Collector, um, who I like to get a lot of my stuff from. But I also go and get some of my other stuff from my other friend at Holland's Hobbies, um, which uh, this also goes out to him as well. Um, thank you guys for being huge supporters of the channel. And hopefully, let's see if we can get some good uh, packs out of this. There's also a chance you may get a vintage pack, which, um, which let's see, we got ourselves... Of course, a code card for an XY trainer kit of Latios and Latias. So go ahead and uh, whoever claims that, feel free to uh, let me know what you get um, for your digital decks. And it looks like no vintage pack in this one, but we do have uh, things of Darkness Ablaze. We have a thing of Vivid Voltage and a pack of Chilling Rain. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll start off with Chilling Rain first um, and see if we can get some uh, good pulls today. Um, uh, of course, there are some really cool pulls to pull in Chilling Rain. It's just really hard to get them. Um, so here we go. Here is the code card for a pack of Chilling Rain for the Pokemon Online TCG game. Go ahead and go claim your pack of Chilling Rain. 
And here we go. One, two, three, and four cards. And we got ourselves a grass energy. Um, we got the rugged helmet. Uh, the fog crystal. Uh, Peonia from the Crown Tundra. Uh, Squovit. There's a score bunny. I like score bunny. Uh, Diglett, Diglady, Diglady. Uh, Golet. Uh, Deerling. It looks like our reverse hollow is a rapid strike scroll of the skies. Not bad. And our regular rare is a non holographic Zarina. Okay. Now we'll go with uh, the Pack of Darkness Ablaze. We're going to save Vivid Voltage for last because uh, there may be a chance we might pull the uh, Hyper Rare uh, Pikachu VMAX, which I hope we can pull because that is literally the one card I would love to pull from there. And uh, here we go. We got ourselves our Pack of Darkness Ablaze. And I think the pull for this is, um, sorry about that, guys, um, is, uh, of course, is mostly Charizard. Um, so, um, but uh, here we go. Here is the uh, code card for the Pokemon Online TCG game. Go ahead, go claim your pack of Darkness Ablaze. And one, two, three, and four. And we got ourselves a darkness energy. Um, we got Steeny. We were, we were just pulled Zarina, and now we got Steeny. We got Furret. Um, the Yellhorn from Team Yell. A Larvitar. A Grimer. A Galarian Dar Darumaka. Um, Centret. Uh, there's Rowlet. I like Rowlet. And our our reverse hollow is the Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. And our rare. Hey, look at that! We got a full art Butterfree V. And Butterfree is literally my favorite out of all. Bug types. If we don't get anything out of Vivid Voltage, this may end up being our pull of the day, um, which is which would be pretty dang cool. Um, so our last pack is Vivid Voltage, the one pack that would make me the one card that would make me super super happy would be that hyper rare Pikachu V Max. Um, that would make that would make me really happy. So here we go. Here is the code card for the Pokemon Online TCG game. Go ahead, go claim your pack of Vivid Voltage. One, two, three, and four. And we got ourselves a Darkness Energy. <coughs> we got Opal. Um, there's a Matang right there. A Giraffe Rig. Uh, Clefairy, uh, Whalmer, uh, Tynamo, Execute, uh, Chatot, and our reverse is a reverse hollow Duot, and our rare is a holographic Dialga. All right. Well, we didn't get the Pikachu like this like uh, this time, but oh well. It was still a pretty good opening. Um, our pull of the day is definitely going to be this Butterfree V. Um, I'm, that's definitely that's definitely going in the binder. The centering is off uh, from what I can see, but it's still pretty dang cool. Um, but, all right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Um, if you ended up enjoying the video, 
uh, go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on my post notification bell so you can see when I upload. Uh, my next opening will be sometime next week um, due to uh, limitations on funds and everything. So um, it's just been really tough to keep up. So um, my next opening will be next week with a very special opening. So, um, but all right, guys, uh, you guys end up having a good rest of your week, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.